They don't know. And if that's how they run their business, I don't know how they make money. In my last video, I carefully went over the details of purchasing a used Tesla online. One of Tesla's goals is to make the car buying experience better by purchasing direct from the manufacturer as opposed to going through a traditional dealership. If you didn't see the video, I ordered a used Tesla Model X in October of 2018, and I documented the exchange of emails back and forth between Tesla and myself for weeks, turning into months. Now here's the recap. I saw a Tesla Model X for sale on Tesla's website, asked for photos, never got photos, bought the car anyway sight unseen, figuring I could fix any cosmetic issues myself. Got a voicemail that says thanks for buying this car and never heard from that person again. Hi, this is Aiden from Tesla. We wanted to congratulate you on your purchase. Exchanged emails back and forth for months, asked multiple questions to different people that were never answered. Then I was told delivery was not an option for the vehicle and I had to go get the car in New York five hours away from me. Then weeks later, I received a text message on my phone saying the car was ready for pickup in my local state. When I emailed them back to verify this, they apologized and said it wasn't really ready and they are unscheduling me because they don't have the title. Weeks after that, they said they have the title now and will schedule pickup and I never heard from them again. This has been a two month process. I made that video last week that spread like wildfire and the next day I got a voicemail saying, your car is ready for pickup. So there's no way I'm going to Tesla without confirmation that the car is actually ready and the voicemail I got wasn't very inspiring so I called the number back and the person didn't answer. I waited and at the end of the day I got an email from a higher up at Tesla. He introduced himself and said I saw your recent video and wanted to get involved to ensure we could come to a swift and satisfactory solution for you. Additionally I wanted to reach out and directly express our apologies to you for your experience thus far. Our top priority is to turn this around for you and ensure that you are taken care of. Do you have time to connect by phone tomorrow to go over details and next steps? Thank you so much for your time. I was very excited that this buying nightmare was coming to an end. I called him the very next day. He apologized for the inconvenience, said that this experience was very rare, and he told me that the curb rash rims were fixed. Okay, now three things on that. We must have different definitions of the word rare. If you look at the comments section of the last video with people sharing their stories, it seems like something like this happens every six minutes. The second thing is that because at that very moment I was looking at a text message exchange between my friend and I before I took the story public. He bought a Tesla Model X from Tesla for $118,000, was issued temporary tags for the car to get it home, he was never actually given a title from Tesla, can't register the car, and the temp has expired. When trying to get help, all the people that he's talked to have either left or been fired, so he's had a $118,000 paperweight in the driveway. But he does admit it's a very nice car to look at. The third thing is about the rims. To be fair, I did ask that the rims be fixed last month, and I don't know of a single premium auto manufacturer that would sell a certified pre-owned car with dirty curved rash wheels. Then he said the car isn't ready for pickup yet and should be ready later today or tomorrow. Now here's the problem with that. I have a voicemail on my phone stating the car was ready for pickup. What would have happened if I actually went to go get the car when they told me it was ready the first two times? The next email was as follows. Hi, we have an appointment set for you tomorrow to have the light cosmetics taken care of. Ask for the tires and alignment. I'm still waiting on a firm confirmation of the timeline for that. However, I've asked for an additional update ASAP and reminded the involved parties how long you've had to wait and it's imperative we get the car fixed ASAP. I know everyone's running full steam ahead to get it ready, but it never hurts to remind them. I'll keep you posted as I get further updates. I asked for the inconvenience, can you add another year of warranty onto the vehicle, to which he declined. Now I started feeling bad for this guy at this point because I feel like he must not know how Tesla actually works. You can use the word ASAP all you want, but it means nothing. Here's an example of that. The next email I got was as follows. Hi Rich, as discussed, in terms of update, we've completed a few items around the car, including replacement of the two front tires, an alignment, and some small cosmetic issues such as paintless dent removal. Our main goal here is to turn this experience around for you, and we want to take care of you. For that reason, we've had a few additional cosmetic items that we want to take care of, including the one pictured in the photos of the vehicle that were sent to you. Between the paint work, quality check, washing, we expect this work to take around two weeks. I'll keep you updated at the status as soon as it nears completion. Now here's my translation of that. Hi Rich, we are now going to do what every single premium auto manufacturer has done in the last 20 years for a certified pre-owned vehicle. In the meantime, we want to ensure you still have a Tesla from us to drive in the meantime. For that reason, the Dedham Delivery Center has procured and prepared a Tesla Model S 75D for your use. 
you'll be able to pick this vehicle directly up from the Tesla location. When you're about 30 to 45 minutes away from picking up the vehicle, we greatly appreciate if you could send this email to this email address indicating that you're on your way. In this email, provide your name and notification of your ETA to pick up the loaner vehicle. This will allow us to have everything perfectly ready for you when you arrive. Now, when the rims were fixed, shouldn't they have discovered the car needed two new tires? Shouldn't the car have been gone over before it was listed for sale? Why weren't these issues taken care of before it was up on the website? If I picked the car up when they said it was ready last week, I would be driving around on a car with bald tires that needed an alignment. Also, one to two weeks is an estimate. You know the stories, the word Tesla and body shop don't mix. It can take months at a body shop. He closed the email by saying, thank you so much again. We look forward to getting you in the best version of your Model X possible. But either way, I'm an optimist. I get to be in a new car with autopilot and keep the miles off my truck. The next day I emailed them, drove, took two trains from end to end. Then I had my mother pick me up in the last leg of the trip to head the Tesla and we were both super excited. When I got there, the place was packed. Happy people getting Model 3s delivered. My mother had never seen a Model X in person and things were going great. I walked into the service department, told them I was ready to pick up my loaner, asked for the email, and they asked for my name. Nothing. They had no record of me picking up any car that day, and they also said they don't have any loaners available. I watched the service person go into the email system to pull my email, and it was still bold and unread at the top of their box. When I explained my situation, they weren't aware any of this was happening, and when I said the person's name who I was speaking with, they had never heard of him before. She apologized again, told me to come back again on Monday for the car, and I embarrassingly walked out of the store with nothing to start my long commute back home. Here's what my mother and I talked about in the car on the way back to the train station. I've never met a company that, that could do that. It's, it's amazing. And get away with it. I walked out of that place with nothing. And they still don't, I don't know how they don't know where your car is. They think they thought it was there. I don't know what that means. I, I asked, I said, you heard the guy, right? Right. I said, hey, where's my truck? They said, oh, I think it's out back. You think? What do you mean you think? <laughs> they called me and told me the car was ready, right? They said, it's ready. I said, great. I can't wait to pick it up. But before I pick it up, let me just wait a minute. Then I got a phone call that said, hey, call me. I want to make this right. The car really isn't ready for pickup. I said, okay, when is it gonna be ready? He said, Thursday or Friday. Okay, perfect. I, I called him Thursday, he said Friday. I called him Friday, he said, just kidding. It's gonna be a few more weeks. Have a loaner car. I showed up Saturday, there's no loaner car. What's his name, Mush or Muck? What's Ma his name? <laughs> Musk. Musk. Elon Musk, yeah. What's his problem? Oh, he's a billionaire. He doesn't have time for this for little stuff. He's trying to send people into space, all kinds of stuff. He doesn't have time for this. <laughs> he's he trying to send people into space and he can't put you in a car? What kind of businessman is he? <laughs> huh? I mean, do you want me to call him? Now, the story isn't quite over yet. While I was waiting the two hours for my next high-speed train back home, I got a phone call from someone stating that my rental car would be delivered to my house, and the person said it should be at my residence in about an hour and a half, depending on traffic. Now, here's the big debate. I knew my commute would not allow me to meet this person at my home in a timely fashion. It was pouring rain, and it was nighttime at this point with backed-up traffic. I asked him how he would get home, and he said he would end up taking a lift back to his house over an hour away. Now my gripe was not with this man, he was at the end of his shift and I didn't want to put this Tesla employee out along with the Lyft employee having to go far out of their service area. So I had him turn around and go home. He thanked me up and down and apologized and he told me that there was a mix up on the names as to who the car should go to. Now before I close this out, I want to clear something up. The reason I purchased the Tesla online is because they sell their cars online and I wanted to have the online experience. I didn't want to have the typical dealer experience that they were talking about. I didn't want to be on the phone chasing people down. My time is valuable just like anyone else's, and I was expecting to go online, find the car I wanted, purchase the car by clicking the buy button, exchanging a few emails about financing, and then letting me know when the car was ready. That's it. The second thing I wanted to bring up was this insurance and why I paid insurance in the vehicle for so long. The Tesla representative I spoke with said in order for a delivery date to be set, you have to have an insurance policy with a policy number for the vehicle. I started an insurance policy to get my delivery date set, not thinking it would take months to get the car. 
Lastly, to address the fanboys upset that I didn't give Tesla more slack and that they were a new company still learning things about the automotive world, I say three things to that. From the time I ordered the car to when I actually made the video, I was dead silent. I said nothing. I gave Tesla the benefit of the doubt, and it was only after they missed my Christmas delivery date when I released the video. Secondly, Tesla isn't selling lemonade. They're selling $100,000 cars. And number three, if they knew that selling used Teslas weren't a priority, then setting that expectation from the get-go would have been much appreciated. I don't really know what else to say on this issue, guys. This doesn't even seem real at this point. Pretty much everything that can go wrong has gone wrong. With every passing day, I'm getting less and less excited about this car, which I'm not even sure exists. I will keep everyone posted on this. Subscribe to the channel for more updates on this issue because I have a feeling this is going to get even worse. Stay tuned.